Hi, my name is Jose Otero for IGN, and today we're going to be talking about the different ways to control Pikmin 3, and honestly, which one is the best? So currently there are three ways to control Pikmin 3. You can use the gamepad, a Wii remote in Nunchuck, or the Pro Controller. But honestly, which one is the best? Let's dive into the gamepad first. So as you can see on the gamepad, you immediately have uh, a way to track your surroundings. You have a map here, and the gameplay is on screen. If you tap the gamepad, you can look around and see, sort of examine the area, see, okay, there are fruit, there's fruit there. Uh, you can sort of get a lay of the land. Right now we're in mission mode, so we get a good place to demo these controls. Now as you can see, the controls themselves, you know, pretty much function the way they should uh, with all the features that you would get on the Wii Remote. However, in order to throw Pikmin to a spot, you'll notice that the pointer where I can throw Pikmin uh, basically moves with the direction of my character. So in order to line up a good shot, I kind of have to stop moving in order to figure out, okay, the, the best proximity or the best distance to throw uh, my Pikmin to do the most damage. So there's a good targeting mode. You can lock onto something as you would sort of with Z targeting. So that helps a bit, um, but it's still a little cumbersome to kind of stop and try to get the right lock on needed to throw a Pikmin where you want it to go. Uh, as with a lot of first party Wii games, uh, pressing the minus button, you can have gamepad only play. And you'll see here that the graphics hold up fairly well. Um, obviously not as well as they would on your HD television, but good enough to get the job done. Uh, overall though, the gamepad, the struggle with the gamepad is just that Pikmin itself needs to be more precise. Playing Pikmin is a, more of a precise process. You want to be able to toss and command your Pikmin with a lot of precision in order to get through levels fairly quickly or well. And unfortunately, having to stop uh, moving, even in something like mission mode, takes time off the clock and it's really frustrating. Let's move on to the next option, which would be our Pro Controller. Switching controllers in Pikmin 3 is as easy as picking up the other controller you want to use and pressing a button. On screen, you're given a quick prompt telling you which controller is now in control of the action, and you can just begin playing. So, similar to the gamepad, the Pro Controller, which we're using right now, suffers from the same sort of flaw, that in order to really throw Pikmin in the direction you want, you kind of have to stop moving. The left analog stick controls the depth of the throw as well as the movement of your character, which makes it a little awkward, uh, especially since you want to be able to move and throw at objects at the same time, especially if you're trying to like speedrun or do something like that while playing this game. So it does make it a bit unfortunate. The right stick controls camera and the button layout is identical to what you can do on the gamepad. So let's switch over to the Wii Remote and Nunchuck as the next way to play. So you may remember these because you probably have them if you owned a Wii from 2006. And these are actually, this controller is actually the best way to play Pikmin 3 because you get everything that you need in order to play this game well. You get the precision of moving and throwing Pikmin at the same time. As you can see here, it's really easy to switch my, my camera and be able to aim at what I want to throw to while I'm moving around the stage, which ultimately is what makes Pikmin, you know, is going to make your Pikmin experience a lot easier. Stopping in order to throw things can be somewhat difficult. Oh, I'll leave him alone. Let's charge this fence. So as you can see, I can do a lot more this way while playing the game. And ultimately that is what's gonna separate and make your Pikmin experience a lot easier. So of your three controller options, believe it or not, your best bet is right here. The Wii Remote and Nunchuck provide the best fidelity of control and the ability to multitask and move around uh, while throwing Pikmin. The gamepad and pro controller are nice, but unfortunately they make the process of playing Pikmin a little cumbersome. For more Pikmin coverage, stay tuned to IGN.